Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the history of the language and words we use every day. If you're into language and history, subscribe so you never miss a word. Today I'm introducing a new video format called Quick Entries, um, seeing as I'm trying to do daily content now. So let's look at the word quick. Adjective, performing a brief action at a high rate of speed. Noun, the living or sensitive, tender flesh, usually around the fingernails or claws. History and etymology. The Proto-Indo-European root for the word quick is gwe, which meant to live. This became words in Old High German, like quick, meaning lively, or kek in German, meaning bold. The Proto-Germanic root for this word was quickquas, which became quick in Old English, and eventually our word quick in English. We still use phrases like look alive today to mean pay attention or hurry up. So it's no wonder that a word that means alive came to mean do it quicker or do something quicker or faster. And also the idea that the living is fragile and can be hurt. That's one of the reasons it became associated with the soft skin and soft flesh that's painful when it gets injured or pushed upon, like the quick around the fingers or the claws of animals. Prescription and commentary. So I wanted to start producing more content at a faster pace. And so I've decided to, I want to continue doing my deep dives into words and meanings and applying them to current events like I was doing before. But in, on top of that, I want to create quicker content for basic words and stuff like the fruits and the colors and the vegetables and just nouns in general where we get the names for things from. I find that interesting and I think I can do pretty quick videos and turnaround times based on those. Now, some of them I may still expand on later. Like I just did a quick video, quick entry as I'm calling them, for news and news is something that's important so I want to go back and do a commentary video on the word news as well probably I'll do it in conjunction with the word fake seeing as fake news is a big part of our culture these days so I'm also kind of come up with ones that are more focused on history or more focused on like etymology and actual like the language changing and the process of actually doing like philology, or even maybe some linguistic stuff, though word histories isn't necessarily linguistics. So I hope you enjoy these new, quicker, more speedy videos, just to get some more content on the page, try and keep people more interested, see what we can do with that. This may be just a lot of quick videos for a while till I can get into a rhythm or build up a backlog so I can continue to release them daily, and that would give me more time to produce the longer form content with the deep dives and the deeper research into how the word is used, where the word came from, and to tell better stories about the words that I really want to spend more time on, because a lot of words don't have very interesting histories. But I want to touch on them anyway, and since I'm writing a dictionary, I'm going to have to do them sometime. Might as well get them done sooner than later and fill out my catalog. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or feel like you've learned something, please leave a like down below and share it with a friend. If you're interested in more words, you can go to my channel page or my website where you can browse the other words in my collection so far. And until next time, keep on learning.